I'm Xiaoxiao. Welcome to my channel, Xiaoxiao Yarn. Today, I'd like to share with you these two modern look and very easy to make surgical hand towels. Let's get started. Part 1. Prepare the fabric. Both the hand towels I'd like to make today are 50cm in length and 34cm in width. With double layers of this very soft and water absorbent Japanese fabric, Sarashi. It's the same as how you prepare the fabric for Hanaf King, except that you want to fold the fabric and measure 50cm, mark an extra 3cm, then cut and sew. If you don't know what sarashi is and don't know how to prepare it for surgical stitching yet, please check out my previous video, the link is in the description. And this is your finished stitching fabric. Two closed sides and two open sides with salvages. You can also use other hand towel friendly fabric as long as you seal all the edges and make the final sides right. Part 2 Hand Towel with Straight Lines and Tassels To draw the pattern, let's start by folding the short sides into half. Mark the line and mark two lines relatively 1cm above and 1cm below it. Then mark one line 1cm to the edge and two lines every 1cm above. Same on the other side. Find the middle point and draw three lines here too. Voila, you've drawn your pattern. This time, I like to use regular thin cotton threads because I don't have surgical thread with the colors I want. I'll make each thread into 70 cm, 50 cm for the stitches, and 10 extra cm on each side for the tassels. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Cut and give it a twist. Voila, here's your homemade surgical thread. You can control how many times you want to fold depending on how thick you want your thread to be. Now, let's sew. Leave your thread without a knot. You want to start with the middle line to avoid fabric distortion and let's start our stitch from the back. One, two, three, four, five. I like counting my stitches when I sashiko just to keep the rhythm so my stitches can be even and straight. When you collect enough stitches, push your needle with a timbo and pull the fabric. Leave about 10 cm for the tassel, then keep sewing. When you arrive to the edge, just to add a little design to our simple pattern, as our stitches started from the back of the fabric, I'll let our last stitch come out from the front. Smooth it out. Use the same method to finish all the middle lines. Then let's work on the red. Since the middle lines start from the back, I'll do the opposite to the red ones. Start from the front and end at the back. Same for the blue lines. 
Start from the front. Sometimes you may find that your stitches are not that perfect, but don't worry, imperfection is also perfect, as long as they're your own stitches. Let's iron our heat erasable marks out, and eventually make the tassels. Actually, a small crochet needle might help here. Finally, let's cut the tassel to the same length. Voila, it's done. How do you like it? Let me know by leaving a comment. Part 3 Marutunagi Linked Circles. Since the size of my stitching fabric is 50 by 34 cm, I'll use this 8 cm in diameter circular template, so I can put 6 circles on long side and 4 circles on the short side, and leave about 1 cm space on each side. You can download the circular template if you don't have one, link is in the description. I'll measure 8mm from the long side and draw a line, then find the middle point, which is at 25cm. Do the same to the opposite side, and link the two middle points, then draw a line 4cm away from the previous line as a guidance. Now draw your first circle, and one next to it. Draw 6 circles on this side and do the same thing on the other side. For the short side, you want to find the middle points and draw a line, then draw 2 circles. Before sewing the pattern, let's put on basting stitches to join the two layers of fabric temporarily so they don't distort. The trick of sewing marutunaki and many circle sashiko patterns is that although the pattern is made with circles, when you sew it, you want to follow a curve line like this, instead of doing it circle by circle, because this is the most efficient and thread saving way. I'll start with 3 circles. I'll need 8 times 3.14 times 3 plus an extra 15 cm, about 90 cm of thread. Let's start without a knot. To start, sew towards opposite direction for a few stitches. Turn your fabric around and enter your needle between the two stitches and sew towards the plant root, overlapping the existing stitches from the back layer only. Stick in a needle and pull your thread so your fabric doesn't stick together, and keep sewing. Here, as mentioned, instead of following the circle, you want to follow the curve.
When you hit the intersection, to keep your hand towel look nice and neat, you want to make sure that no stitches are crossing and that you want to share this one stitch in the middle. To do this, make a stitch close to the middle stitch. Then make another stitch from the back layer only. Pass your needle between the two layers, crossing the middle stitch and come out from the front side. Your hand towel looks beautiful from both sides. Keep sewing. When you finish, you just need to return your needle for a few stitches, same as how you started. Make sure you pass your needle through the back layer only and then hide the tiny tail by passing your needle between the two layers. And let it come out from a stitch nearby. Use the same method to finish the whole hand towel. Here you go, your two very easy to make sashiko hand towels are done. If you made your own sashiko hand towels by following this video, please share it with me on Instagram by at xiaoxiaoyarn and hashtag made with xiaoxiaoyarn. I'll make sure to check them out. Also, I'd like to give a big thanks to everyone who supported my channel. Your donations helped me produce this video. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Please do consider a donation by clicking the super thanks button under the video or the support my channel link in the description. This will help me produce more quality videos like this one. Happy stitching! See you soon!